Hey y'all, it's Kelt. Let's talk about the dog whistle that Smith and Wesson tweeted out. So if you're on Twitter on the 27th, you may have seen the fact that Smith and Wesson tweeted out this photo. And pretty quickly, people started to catch the dog whistle that is contained within this photo. It's not the actual weapons. It's not the rifle. It's not the pistol. It's the shirt. People very quickly noticed that that's a yellow PB on that shirt. There's an organization that uses a yellow PB as their logo. The Proud Boys. At this point, if you're unfamiliar with what the Proud Boys are, you haven't been watching the news at all. But just in case, the Proud Boys is a far-right neo-fascist extremist organization within the United States. It was initially founded by this guy, Gavin McGinnis, based off a line from a deleted scene in the movie Aladdin in which they sing a song called Proud of Your Boy. Yeah, the alpha male organization that likes to do things like storm the Capitol and harass drag queen story hours. Theme song is a Disney song. I would play it if it wasn't for the copyright strike, but go ahead and Google Disney's Aladdin, proud of your boy. But after noticing the yellow PB, people started to call out Smith & Wesson in the comments of their tweet, and Smith & Wesson kind of just doubled down. They simply deleted the original tweet and retweeted it, this time sourcing the shirt to an organization called Perception Brands. Perception Brand is advertised as a conservative apparel small business. And after checking out the Perception Brand link that Smith & Wesson tweeted, that just makes this dog whistle all the much more worse. Because it's not a, just a conservative, haha, we like guns. It's a full-on conservative anti-vax conspiracy theory clothing apparel brand. Selling boosted merchandise talking about the vaccine and smash your TV merchandise. So next, after seeing all that, I went and checked out their social media. The only thing they have is a YouTube channel with like eight short videos, eight subscribers that they started in 2001, and an Instagram. Instagram is where they seem to be the most active, posting pictures and videos of people doing tactical, cool, or sexy things in their merchandise. But this is where it gets a little more interesting. There's one woman that appears in a lot of posts. She's normally just wearing the merchandise, trying to sit in a sexy style pose. But if you look closely, you notice there's something unique for her that doesn't apply to anyone else in these Instagram posts. She's the only person that her face is not blurred out. Her face is out there in full display, but every man wearing this merchandise has their face blurred, cropped off, or they are positioned in such a way so that you cannot see their face. Even people that it's a full frontal video or picture, they have the old cops digital blurring of the face going on with them. Is there a reason you don't want us to know who works for your organization, who models your products, or who even wears your products? Could it be your entire company is one giant dog whistle? Regardless of what they say on Instagram, they are most definitely associated with the Proud Boys, at least in support of the Proud Boys. Because every detail of that yellow PB shirt was deliberately picked to mirror the Proud Boys logo and insignia as a dog whistle. The color of the Proud Boys is yellow and black. The initials of the Proud Boys is PB. This is not an accident that they made their PB shirt yellow and black. Yeah, they picked a different script than the Proud Boys do, and they didn't put the laurels around the PB like the Proud Boys do. And that's why it's a dog whistle. If it was exactly like that, it wouldn't be a dog whistle. It would just be a copy. Problem is, they flew a little too close to the sun with the back of the shirt. The back of the shirt features brass knuckles, also in yellow, with the PB in it, and the words, support your local enforcer. Proud Boy members are commonly referred to by the media as enforcers. When someone is identified as a member of the Proud Boy, it is very common for media outlets to label that person a Proud Boy enforcer. This is a direct calling to that. It's also a calling to a very specific Proud Boy shirt in which the Proud Boys have their laurels with the brass knuckles, but instead of just saying PB, it says PYOB, Proud of Your Boy. Remember, Proud of Your Boy is like their anthem from Disney's Aladdin and where Gavin McGinnis got the name Proud Boys from. This entire item is a mock-up of a Proud Boy shirt done up in such a way that you can try to deny that it's a Proud Boy shirt. But other people who would either wear this shirt or wear a Proud Boy shirt will see you in this shirt and know what it means. That you are a member or at least a supporter of Proud Boys. And this was not just tweeted innocently. This was actually endorsed. Their organization linked by one of the largest gun manufacturers within the United States. Guns and fascism are so ingrained in American culture, people will just see this and overlook it.